Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, we have compared Dilbumi and MuleSoft. And in this video, let us compare MuleSoft and OIC. So let us see the differences between MuleSoft and OIC, Oracle Integration Cloud. Okay. So first one, cloud. I mean, you know, what type of services that they are providing. So MuleSoft is IPaaS and OIC is also IPaaS. IPaaS means integration platform as a service. Platform as a service means they are providing a platform where we can implement our application and deploy and monitor it. Integration platform means we are building integrations on their platform. So that is called integration platform as a service. And coding. In MuleSoft, we know that it is heavy coding required because you know for even for mappings also we need to write data wave code that is separate language. So a lot of coding is required for the MuleSoft integrations. And OIC is low coding. Why I said low coding uh, is you know we have to spend some time on uh, uh, XSLT mappings or you know uh, we can map easily in OIC, but we we also need some knowledge and XSLT mappings for OIC. And support uh, both MuleSoft and OIC can support, you know, cloud applications or on-premise applications and version control, external tool to be used for MuleSoft. Inbuilt version control system is not there for MuleSoft, but for OIC, we can clone application and there we can give a version number. So I, we can maintain version control in OIC. So I can say inbuilt version control is there. And smart data mapping. MuleSoft is not the smart data mapping because as we already discussed uh, in a data way, we need to write our own code. We can drag and drop fields but still we need to write some code to, you know, do some, not complex, but minimal, you know, even for the concatenations and all, we need to write our code. For OIC, it is, you know, smart mapping. For some complex mappings, we need to write some expressions, but there we have some our own functions to drag and drop, but for Mule, that is not true. And free trial for MuleSoft and OIC, we have a 30 days free trial and pricing. So for MuleSoft pricing is not disclosed, but it is relatively high pricing for some clients. It is more than OIC and Delbumi. But OIC is different. We have two standard and enterprise and, and also two options in each. So pay as you go. This is rough uh, uh, number from, you know, uh, my analysis. And 531 for one year contract and 808 pay as you go. Enterprise 1617 for pay as you go and 1078 for one year contract. You know, the major difference between these two, MuleSoft and OIC, uh, MuleSoft offers you processing power for the volume of the records you are handling. This is the cost effective approach and very difficult from, you know, OIC or Boomi's approach, right? So, I mean, you know, uh, for the integrations and for the data that we are, you know, transforming, they are giving us a, you know, RAM and, uh, you know, all the infrastructure. So they charge based on the power, processing power for the volume of the records that we are handling. But for OIC, message packs is there. So a message pack included includes a maximum of either 5,000 5, messages or 20,000 messages. I mean, that, that is based on the plan that you choose. So unit of one message is payload size of 50 KB. Okay, so this is one more important point. So let's say you have received lost, I mean, you know, the 
10 MB payload or 1 MB payload. So we need to divide that with a 50 KB and that is count like message. Okay. So a message pack includes a maximum of either 5,000 messages or 20,000 messages per hour. So this is a, uh, you know, pricing uh, approach that OIC is doing. And for the mule, you know, it is processing power based on the processing power. An email notification. For MuleSoft, we can send emails from the Mule integrations, but we need to configure our own SMTP server. But for OIC, inbuilt notification feature is available. So we just need to drag and drop a notification uh, component and then we just need to provide from to and all and it will send email notification. Database replica. So depends on the manual written select statement. Means let's say select employee first name, last name from so-and-so table. Then it will give us only first name and last name from the table and we need to use it. Same with OIC. And supports. In Mule, we, it supports Java, Python, Ruby, Groovy, JavaScript. So that is why any type of integration or any complex integrations also we can build using MuleSoft. And OIC, it supports JavaScript. When when there is, uh, I mean, when, when we want to do our own custom mappings or let's say when you want to, so some, mostly we use JavaScript for the data formats, I mean, date formats. When you want to format date into your own, you know, uh, format, then we need to go for the JavaScript and we need to write our own code in JavaScript and we need to get the results. So when you want to build a custom uh, complex applications or integrations, platform should support, means OIC should support. But for MuleSoft, when MuleSoft is not supporting, means the, the platform, uh, the features that they have given is not supporting, Still, you can achieve it by using Java or you know any other programming language. So connectors, you know, Mule is three and having three hundred plus connectors and real time databases, storage platforms, networks, and other platforms. But OIC limited support compared to Mule and Boomi. We have a enterprise and standard connectors already, but when compared to MuleSoft less reprocessing. So in Mule, we need to write our own reprocessing code. You know, we have something like until successful. We need to use that, right? And we need to loop it, and then if it again fails, we need to write our code to try for three times, and then send email. Like when you let's say you are trying to connect to database. And due to some reason, it sent it got failed. Let's say we have we got timeout exception, and we can retry for two more times. But with OIC retry functionality for all flows is already there. It tries for three times and then give us the error. So that is inbuilt feature. And monitoring extensive monitoring feature is there in MuleSoft and even in OIC. Uh, and you know it supports a real-time integration up to seconds means we can also schedule integrations in seconds but you know i see that you know for oic it is minimum one minute but uh i didn't do research on this one i mean i i got this but i didn't try real time I mean, I didn't try an, um, uh, my own integration. So this is, you can try. And API management, full API management support is there in MuleSoft. This is a big advantage with MuleSoft. There is no API management in OIC. And customizations, full flexibility for customizations. I, I already told you, right? Any, I mean, you know, complex applications or complex integrations also you can build in MuleSoft because we have a Java support there. Java like a C. 
there are a lot of features, a lot of things we can do with the Java. And uh, when it comes to OIC, it requires a pass feature for extensive customizations. Means when you want to do some complex integrations, your platform should support. Documentations, good documentation is available in Mule and also good documentation is available in OIC from Oracle. So these are the basic uh, connections, FTP, file, REST, SOAP, database, you know, SQL Server database or Oracle databases. These all are supported and we can easily configure and use them or connect to them from MuleSoft or from OIC. So these are the differences I'm seeing. And you know, if you see, and if you found anything, you know, this is missing from these differences and you want to add, please comment that points in a comment section. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you everyone and good luck.